Hello, Mark Jennings from Drinks Galore, back with another expert interview. This time, we're talking to Mark Thompson, brand ambassador for the fabulous Glenfiddich whisky. In the heart of London, we're about to be transported away to the heart of Scotland through fine tailoring. Watch this space. <laughs> yeah, cut that. <laughs> Oh, that's a good question. What does a brand ambassador do? Um, every day is varied. Conducting tastings to the trade, or it could be public facing with uh, consumers, conducting radio interviews, TV, that type of thing. So very much anything that's a, a contact with the public um, involving the brand, I'm, I'm there. How do you become a brand ambassador? If I told you that, everyone would be able to do it. You have to have a knowledge of the product in general. My role in, in becoming a brand ambassador was from working within the whiskey industry for a number of years. I could have worked with any brand. Uh, I chose Glenfiddich particularly because of my family connections and it was a brand, as I say, that was very familiar to me and it's family run. It still is after 127 years and that gave me a lot of confidence that it was the right type of company to work with as well. You know, there's lots of travel and it's tiring and you get to that hotel room and it's night after night after night. The most rewarding part for me though is seeing a group of people enjoying the whiskey with the same passion I do. Most rewarding of all is seeing someone that perhaps started the evening not entirely convinced they were a whiskey drinker and by the end of the evening coming up and thanking me for introducing them to whiskey in a different way. And if it's a room of a hundred people and only one person comes up to me and says that at the end, that's still an exceptionally rewarding situation to be in. Recently actually I was in Edinburgh. A gentleman that was there speaking to me uh, loves his whiskey. He was telling me all about his collection of whiskey that he had at home. And his wife was standing next to him. And she said, I'm really not, I've never really, gin, she said, I love my gin, but not, not whiskey. And I said, well, look, humor me. Just um, take this glass. And we went through the process of trying it twice. And I could see as soon as she took the second sip, the pause and the reflection, and then the smile, and there was only her smiling because her husband knew straight away he'd just lost half his whiskey cabinet to his wife. There is, of course, a stereotypical whiskey drinker. Thankfully, that's fading. And what's quite interesting is to see, as I go tastings around the UK, a much more varied crowd in both sex and age. Um, we see bars introducing whiskey in a different way in terms of cocktails so there's a broader range of ways to enjoy whiskey and that even for the the die-hard gentleman in his club in a Chesterfield with a tweed suit on that would think of nothing more than just adding a dash of water um, you, see, you see these people now trying cocktails so there's definitely a move towards that The ideal cocktail serve, well, we're currently serving a 12-year-old with a little bit of elderflower cordial and topped with soda. Wonderful summer drink. And it's light and it's surprising because people are expecting a much heavier weight drink because there's whiskey in it. But because our 12-year-old is quite light to begin with, um, the elderflower picks up on some of the lovely floral notes that are in there. The soda lengthens the drink and makes it nice and refreshing. So we've seen a few people change their tune when they've had a, a sip of that. There's always a good connection between fine whiskies and fine clothing. When you get to a certain age, and certainly I'm of a certain age, uh, you start to look in the, for the quality of things, how well something is made, how well it's produced. People that appreciate and understand the traditions and the craftsmanship that goes into creating a good single malt have also an, uh, an appreciation of fine tailoring and garments and the, the craft that goes into creating something like a, a tweed suit or even as simple as a tweed tie. Of course, as the modern world changes, things have to adapt with that. And at Glenfiddich, we've been quite maverick about uh, trying new avenues with our whiskey, moving with the times and keeping things modern. 
And of course, Walker Slater are, are quite maverick in their approach to tweed as well, taking what would be a traditional cloth and weaving that into a number of different garments in different styles, very much the same way we do that at Glenfiddich with whiskies, just adapting and changing to follow styles and um, as palettes change and develop. I know that uh, in the bespoke tailoring room that they have there, where they serve Glenfiddich 15-year-old, uh, they have men and ladies coming in, trying the whiskey and buying the suits. It's either whiskey with me or shoes or tweed. And Walker Slater have been, you know, it's a, it's a great shop. I, uh, I spend quite a lot of time here. <laughs>